Hey guys, today I'm doing um, the Pop and Cookin Japanese um, DIY candy kit, I guess. And this is the sushi one. So I just got tape and scissors because I've done one before and you may need tape and scissors. So. Okay, so. This looks like that because I don't read Japanese. Um, but there are pictures that I can try and go by. So yeah, it says to cut on the lines. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I know some. Okay, so this is what it comes with. It comes with a big blue packet. It comes with a small orange packet. A small pink packet. A small brown packet. A small green packet. And then a small yellow packet. Then it comes with this little, which I think is the seaweed. Yeah, this is the seaweed. It comes with um, this little thing. And it comes with a little shovel spoon type thing. And then a, um, what are these called? These sucker up or plopper outer things. Then it comes with a tray, and the trays have like A, B, and like design. So it's one to. So you also need a um, glass of water. So that is what I have here. So we're gonna start off with this one right here. And we are going to pick our water picker upper. And basically fill um, it up to the line. but this is what the water looks like it's just in the circle i don't know if you can really see that but it's up to the water. now you're going to pour in your big blue packet okay i just poured in the blue packet and now we're supposed to mix with our little spoon It really does look like rice. Okay, next we're gonna use this tray. So again, you're just gonna wanna fill up to the line. And That's good. Now you're gonna add your lighter orange packet, or you call it yellow. And you're going to cut it and pour it in. This is me pouring in the yellow packet. Sorry about the last clip. I accidentally put it in fast motion, then I tried to, um, go back a little bit, but it didn't exactly turn out like I wanted it to. Sorry about that. But like go up and down like that. So it just looks like that. Now we're gonna use this swirly, oops, kind of try right next to it. And you're just gonna fill that up to the line. big fail and stop. So yeah, now you're gonna open up your pink packet and you're just gonna 
um, pour that in the tray. And then you are going to want to mix it the same way you did with um, the yellow packet. Okay, now we are going to move on to the next part. Okay, we're going to put all this to the side for a second. And actually, yeah, you don't want to throw this out. You're going to want to grab this. And your seaweed. <laughs> Has a piece of sushi on it. Yeah, so you're gonna wanna kind of like take your sushi and just put your thumb in the middle of it here. And kind of push it down. Then you're just gonna wanna kind of side and you're going to want to bring out the tray the mixer and the packets and all that fun stuff again um tray a and tray b you're just going to fill them up with your water picker upper thing um to the line so now after you fill those up you're going to take your little green packet Okay, so you're gonna take the green packet and you're gonna cut it and put it into tray A. And it should look like just water with a little. Okay, now you're going to take your orange packet and you're gonna cut it open and put it and try these. I'm gonna take your shovel and mix it up. This is what it should look like. Then you're gonna suck up the red from tray B and plop it right into, whoops, tray A. And the eggs are gonna look like that. This is what the soy sauce looks like, and this is what everything else looks like. We've made everything, and all we have to do now is put our sushi So I am going to use this as a little placemat thing, and I'm going to take...
for the taste test, I'm gonna try um, the beautiful creations that I made. I try them dipped in soy sauce and without soy sauce. Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. Um, bye guys, thanks for